accessible platform that allows students and teachers to basically annotate and save articles off the internet that can then be used for critical reading, research, and evidence-based writing. Um, it's a very flexible platform, so there's, we kind of support a variety of use cases. Um, what you see on the screenshot here, it's a little hard to see because of the lighting and the, the slide itself, but you see a student on a Chromebook using our tool to annotate an article on the internet. Now the great thing about this is that we've built a whole bunch of tools, which I won't have enough time to get into in a lot of detail here, but we're happy to talk to them in a little bit more detail if you come visit us. We're right now in the back of the room in the corner back there. Um, but I'm going to quickly show you um, kind of how you can potentially use Scribble if you're a teacher in the classroom. Let's say you've got a critical reading assignment. Today you might be using some pre canned publisher content, but if you want to do something like focus on a local election in your neighborhood, um, you could potentially go to a local paper, pull articles off of that, and use it in a history assignment or a social studies assignment, and ask the kids to actually annotate the article with different colors and styles as a close reading mechanism. We've got some of the best web annotation technology that's ever been built. Um, and it really allows you to ask a lot of the kids to be able to mark up the articles and say, you know, I like the main paragraph or the main concept, underline things, call things out, put these things in their own words, in notes that can actually act directly on top of the web page. So that's a critical reading type of lesson or assignment that for which we would be useful. Um, the other things that are really useful are that you can, for example, ask the kids to basically do a research assignment. Um, we've had some uh, schools and teachers that have used us, for example, to ask the, to ask the kids to go out and find information on the web that they're curating, they can put it into a library, they can potentially share that library of content with other students that they're working with on a group project, and then um, basically put a presentation about it at the end. Uh, I think the most interesting example is probably this writing example. So after the student has gone off the web and annotated and saved their sources, they can actually very easily flow those notes and highlights directly into writing a paper. We have an interface that allows them to actually start to write the paper based on the evidence they've collected on the internet. Now, I probably don't have to tell you all that this is the kind of stuff that is really, really important now as part of the Common Core. Um, and the great thing about this is that we're currently working on a classroom product that is not on our website um, and that we'd love to tell you about. If you come talk to us, we'd love to tell you about it. And we're actually looking for early, early folks to actually pilot it. But the classroom product adds a really important component. Um, and the most important part from your perspective as a teacher is that we're adding analytics. So, Let's say you have a research assignment with a paper due at the end. Right now, there's no work way for you to look into what that process is like. But with Scribble, we can actually let you know where the kids are in the process as a class and at the individual student level in terms of doing the research and writing the paper. And there's some amazing data and analytics we can show you in the process. So really good for Common Core, really good for project-based learning, really good for college prep. Come talk to us and we'll have to show